Hello everyone, this is Mondan Nagavan. Today we are going to see what is inspect module in Python and we are going to refresh our knowledge over the stack. So what is stack and if you have the different function calls, you will be having the stack concept. So that we are going to refresh in this video. First we will understand about the stack and then we will further proceed on the inspect module. So here you can see the different three functions called three, two and one. In function one, you are calling function two. In function two, you are calling the function three. In function three, you have the simple print statement. As usual in other functions, you have the print statement, but after the print statement, you will be having the function call for next function. At last point, I am calling the function one. So that means that the execution point or the interpreter starts from the function one calling. So that's why in the number one, you are seeing the first call will be from the function one. The function one internally calls the function two. Right, so that's why you have the second level. The function of two will be getting into the stack. Then after we will executing the function two, you are getting the function three call. So that's why again you will be getting the function three inside your stack. Now at this point, the function three will be executed completely and it will come out. So once the completion totally completed of the function three, the three will be taken out from the stack. Then it will look into the function two. In function two, you don't have any more documents or let's say more statements, so you don't need to execute anything. So function two will be taken out. The second one, function one. In function one also, you have exhausted every code and you don't have anything to execute further. So that's the reason even function one, one will be taken out. So this is the way stack will work. In simple way, you can understand like the stack will be working like last in will be the first out. So with that, we will continue with the inspect module. So what is inspect module? In every programming language, there will be some module or some concept. For example, if you take Java, there is a reflection concept. In Python, you have the inspect module. So what is the purpose of inspect module? Inspect module will give you a different functions to get the metadata. Or let's say you are just importing some module from the module you want to get the different options for example you want to get the module name or you want to get the different classes which are available inside the module or you want to get the entire source code from that module so those things you can do with the inspect module there are a lot of other inspect module functionalities are there but majorly you will be working on the type checking or getting the source code or just inspecting the classes and the function inside your module and you will be examining the interpreter stack so this is the point we have discussed here let's say you are in the different function so now from which module or from where the call is coming so that you can track by using the stack but in generally this inspect module will be used mostly in the ids and documentation tools and code analyzer tools the official documentation will be available on the docs.python.org slash three slash library slash inspect.html. So in this page, you can see the different varieties of inspect module functions are the different kinds of variables you can see there. Okay. So now we will get into few of the functionalities available inside the inspect module. First, we'll go to the some class called, sorry, some module called master. So here in this master, you will be having the different, let's say variety of details. For example, it is the class. Again, inside the module, you have the class name also master. And after that, you will be having the documentation and some class variable and some instance, let's say instant method or some init methods and a class method and static method and even for some generators. Okay, so this is some basic class or basic module you can consider. So from this, I want to investigate or inspect over this class or in this module. So I'll just get into the first one. So get members demo. So here you can see I am just importing the inspect. So you don't need to install this inspect, especially because by default it will be available. You need to just import in your code. Then from master, I'm importing the master. So this master represents the module and this master represents the class. Now I'm creating the object for that because the init method has some value has to be sent, right? So that is the reason I am sending something. And then after if you come to the gets mem members demo, so okay, here I'm just sending some string value. Okay, fine. And then after inspect object. So with the object, so I am using the inspect module and I'm using the method called get members. In this method, I need to pass the object. So which object I want to inspect, that object will be sent here. Then I am getting the response or just, you can say like an object, another object. So from inside this object, whatever we have discussed inside the stack module, for example, if you see the stack, so here you can consider each stack will be considered as a frame. So if you come to the code, so this inspect of objects, otherwise it will be the collection which will have the different frames. That means that each stack will be considered as a frame here. So each frame will have the different parameters or the different details about your each stack level. For example, here we have seen only the 
function name but however it will have some other thing from which class the function is available which line or which code context every details will be available so that entire detail for each stack will be considered as one frame like that you will be having the different frames now i am just having this one so i am just going to print each stack with the detail information let's say here i am having this information okay fine so i am creating the object so i am creating the object for the master class now as usual here you can see the class directly you can understand directly right even if you have some modules if you click on that module and see the source code you can see directly but in case if you don't have this ide if you want to programmatically access your code or from the module where you are getting the library functions that time you will be using this inspect function okay fine now let's consider this master class is not available to me okay then i want to see what are the things available inside the master i am getting all the members from the master then i am going to see everything okay just execute this line and see what happens here you can see all the members from that master module will be given to you something will be like underscore underscore which are the like special variables okay then you will be having the different things for example it is a class and the wrapper class is available dictionary is available dictionary in the sense you will be having the variable and its value okay and different values these are the like magic methods or magic variables that you can consider and however you need you will be focusing on which are the variables which are not having the prefix and suffix as underscore underscore if you ignore everything which are not having prefix and suffix as underscore underscore remaining you will be having this information so here you can see here you can see one variable available here if you go to the master class you can see the variables here so a is equal to 200 instance variable and class method and the class variable is available and after that you can see the instance method it is again the another method and you will have the start method so here you can see the different methods available here right so these are the different objects you can get directly from this but however this is not the only case you can have the different methods for example if i go to the get source demo okay i will just close this members i will minimize this one so here you can see here i have the import module so as usual the inspect module under the master under the master module under the master class now i want to get only the source code so in that case inspect get source so what happens we will see see here i am getting the inspect code and i am getting the i am passing the class or the module name here you can consider as the module name because you are getting you are going to get the source code for that particular module so you are setting the module in order to access that module you should be having that module right so that's why i'm getting the module okay now if i run this one just see what are the things you are going to see here you can see the entire the source code is available to you now so if you want to get entire source code in that way you can just use like inspect dot get source but however if you want to get the source file name so that time you will be using the get source file so just i will execute this line sorry so here you can see this is the module available at this particular location so in this way you can get the the absolute path you can get it the same way for the individual lines also you can get it so inspect code lines so it will be having the individual lines so let's say if you want to get any specific line so in the time you will be using this method here you can see the entire source code it will be separated with each line so for example if you go to the master code the first line will be the class master under the new line character and it will having only the triple quotes then it will be going to the next line like that you will be having the line by line your code or source code will be available to you by using the method called get source lines okay this is one of the another method then after we can get the signature so for example if i go to there and inspect signature so in this way you will be getting the signature of particular function so inside the master module or inside the master class i have the instance method so i want to get the signature for the instance method if you go to the master and if you go to the instance method it has the self because it is a instance method the name also i just for the understanding i mention as instance method and i have the let's say positional a and uh, normal values b is equal to default value and c is equal to none is the default and uh, variable arguments and keyword arguments these are the different arguments or parameters i am going to pass into this function let's say i don't have this information so let's go into here inspect dot signature i am sending the which method i want to get the signature then if i execute this one here you can see the actual signature of this 
So by using this way, you can get the different parameters of your modules, or you can just understand what are the different things available inside your libraries or the source code of some other module. But let's jump into the another project. So now let's say the stock demo. Here you are having this one. So let's just understand this code a little bit. See, now I want to find the caller. So here it is the method. And it, this method can be called by anybody. For example, just consider in case of if you know the PyTest. So this is called like a fixture. The fixture can be called by any test case. Or let's say this is a utility function. Uh, this function can be called by anybody in their own code because they can import this stock demo and let's say they can call this method at any different places right the same way i want to understand who are the people are calling this function because let's say if i am calling from let's say caller function or caller module i want to mention in the log like this find the caller method is being called from particular module right the same way if some other uh, let's say module is called this function Okay, some other module is calling this function. In that time, I need to log into the, let's say the log files saying that this find the caller method is being called by some other module. So that time you need to have, or you need to understand who is calling this method. In simple way, we are going to access the stack. So in general, by understanding a simple way of stack, the person who is calling first statement will be into the bottom of the stack. And next method will be in it to the next level, right? So that's the reason I have mentioned here stack one. So the people who are calling that will, that people will be having the stack zero and the next index will be this function because we are in the second level. Okay, let's just understand this code. So just consider this is a find the caller method and I am going to the caller class, a caller module, sorry. Now in order to call, call this, right? Find the caller, I want to, have this model available so for example here stock demo inside i have the method called find the color so that now i can use it now i am directly calling this find the color without any classes or function inside then after i am creating one more function for my own function but my inside function i am calling the find the color again now i am calling this method so you will be calling the find the color outside of any method or you can call inside another method or you can call from another class as well so these are the different ways I'm calling here. But however, in the output, let's say if you go into stock demo.py, sorry. I will close the other files. Okay, stock demo. So here, inspect stack. So what this mean is, let's say, if we go to the, let's say caller. So caller from the caller only I'm getting this call. So that means that first starting point will be your caller module. So that will be inside your, stack first then after when you call this one so it will be going control will be going to this function so here it will be the first one and from here if you call any other method that will be the second one in the stack but however from this point i want to get who is calling this method so that's why i mentioned one but let's say if you have one frame for example you will get entire details about the stack demo inside your code but i don't want every details about that i want some specific details that i am going to see but generally, if you don't mention any indexes, how it will be looking like, we will see it here. So here you can see a different frames will be coming into picture. For example, here you can see at the bottom level or at the very last index will be having your calling function or original function. Here you can see from the caller I have called and I'm calling something. So let's say the line number is four. And which code context I am having find the caller and slash in. So this is the context I am calling that particular method. After calling this particular method, the second frame will come into picture. The second frame will be available inside the stack demo.py. See, in this point, if I want to get who is calling, so that time you will be having the stack zero, right? And after that, what is the current module that you can get from the stack demo.py? Fine. So in this frame, I want to get different details. For example, the first one will be the index zero and second one will be the index one like that. It goes on. Now let's execute and see if you execute on code and you will come to know. For example, now this is the find the color. So this is static now. Okay. Now from the color, I'm going to execute. So let's execute this one. Okay. You can go here. See here you can see. First time it's being calling from the color. So even though the function control goes to stack.demo, in this I'm calling the first one. So first one in the sense, who is calling? 
right the very basic one will be getting into the bottom and after that it will be going into the color function so that's the reason you are seeing even if you see here okay in the notepad also see at the bottom line you will be having let's say zero index you will be having the stock demo and after that you will be having other information color.py fine so in general who is calling first if you consider color is a starting point right that's why it is in the bottom okay now we will go to the code here now you can see here even though the function is being called by different people or the different places for example in the stack okay in the color.py i'm calling in the different two places one is line number four and line number seven here you can clearly see the so this function so find the color is a function which is available in the stack demo right so from the color function i'm calling in the different places here you can clearly see c user pycharm project inspect demo color.py from this class or from this module i'm calling from line number four and this is at the function level sorry module level because I did not mention anything inside the function or the class. Let's say I'm calling another time in the from line number seven, but it's, it is inside the function. So what is the function name? That function name you can see call from function. So this is where you can inspect the different things from the different colors. Let's say I have another one, another color. Okay. Now here I am just calling from the line number two. Okay. And we will see it here. What is happening? Here you can see, see calling from the another color. So this is the one. And after you are calling from the line number two, okay, this is the line number two. And this is at the module level, not at the function or class level. So that's the reason you are getting this. So how are you getting this line? So it is available in the stack demo. Consider this one as the fixture or let's say utility function. So now you will be knowing who are the callers for this function and on which from which line they are calling from which module and whether it is the module level or the function level that also you can clearly get from this inspect stack. And these are the different lines or let's say indexes you can see. In this level, I'm just getting only the one level above. For example, at the bottom level, it is the color and after that, it is the stack demo. The control comes to the stack demo. I'm getting this information, right? The same way you can get the different things further. For example, one represent to the file and two represents index one, uh, one and two will be representing the line number. And it is uh, the function or let's say index three will be representing the function or module. But if you see directly the frames, the frames will be looking like this. Here you can see the one, two, three are having the different information about the line number four or let's say here line number four directly it's coming here. So these are the things generally will be used inside your log files. Or let's say if you want to execute or if you want to report somebody, that time you will be having. Even if you get any error, even your console will be showing this kind of information from which line called which program or which function. Again, inside the function, which are the other programs or other functions are being called so that you will be having the stack trace. By using this, you can clearly debug your code. So this is understanding about the inspect module. So inspect module will be useful if you have any debugging or let's say if you want to uh, just navigate into the different areas. So that time it will be very useful, okay? And this is about the inspect module and we have seen what is stack, how it works in basic level. And we have understood by using the inspect module, we have different functions like get members, get signature, get source code. Even you can check whether yeah, the given function is the generator or not. There are a lot of functionalities available in your inspect module. Okay, this is all about the inspect module. So thanks all, thanks for watching and have a great day.